Hi guys and welcome back to another video with Angel Cooking with Joy. Unfortunately, Joy is here today because she is recovering from her surgery. But today I will be doing the voiceover. So today, as you can see from the title, we're going to be making bread with the Tangzhong method. Here we've got our milk and our flour. And now we're just going to combine to make the Tangzhong. Now we're going to use the whisk which will help so that it does not create any bubbles and that it dissolves and becomes nice and smooth. We just gonna let it sit for a little bit so that it can thicken. As you can see now we started to thicken so now you need to mix very fast so that you don't get any bubbles. There you go. You see how soft and smooth it looks? It should look just like that for it to be good because if it has any bubbles in it, then it won't make the bread nice and fluffy. Now we're going to place the tangzhong into the mixer with some milk and then we're going to let those two mix for a little bit just so that the tangzhong can cool down. As you've seen earlier, it was being cooked so it's still a bit hot. Once the tangzhong and milk mixture has cooled down, they will start adding the next ingredients one by one. So one thing you need to remember about this recipe is that the oil or butter goes in lost and you will see why at the end of this recipe.
So now we're just going to allow them the ingredients to mix for 5 minutes and 5 minutes after we're going to add the oil. As you can see, all the ingredients are combined. It's a little bubbly, but that's where the oil comes in. So the oil helps it to give it a silky texture and make it very smooth, as you'll see soon. Now we're going to oil a bowl so that we can let the dough rest. So as you can see, the dough is now soft and very silky. So when taking out the dough from the mixer, make sure to oil your hands so that it does not stick to your hands. Now you just form a bowl. Now it is ready to rise, but we must brush oil so that the dough does not stick on the cling wrap if it rises, rises too fast. Make sure to cover it with cling wrap. It doesn't need to be cling wrap, you can also cover with a wet cloth just as long as the dough is secure. And there you go. Now it's going to rise for 30 minutes or an hour. It depends on the temperature of the weather and all that. So now we're just going to brush the pan and put some baking paper. This helps so that when you're taking the bread out, it does not stick to the pan. And here is our dough. It is ready. Now we just punch it just to get rid of any air bubbles. So now as you fold the dough, don't press it too much, just be gentle because when you press too much it starts flattening and then 
it might cause your brain not to rise properly. So now just shape it into the shape of your bread pan. So now you just push it down a little bit, not too much, just so that it can fit into your bread pan. And here we go. So now we're going to allow this dough to rise for 30 minutes. Or as I said earlier, according to your temperature, if it rises as fast, then you can bake it but don't let it rise in a hot place because then it might over rise and you won't get the best bread And here you have it, after 30 minutes, the bread rolls so good. So now we're just going to brush the milk onto the bread. This helps us to give it a golden brown color on the top. Also remember not to brush too much because you don't want to wet the bread, it's just so that it can brown. Just put on just a small coat of it. And there you have it. The most amazing bread with the Tengzhong method. This bread was so, so fluffy. And look at how golden it is. So always make sure to put some milk or any other sauce that could help golden your bread. Now let's see. Super fluffy. Look at that. Now that that's good looking bread. Isn't that good? Mm, no, no, good. And there you have it. That is how you make the best bread with the Tang Zhang Thank method. you for watching. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.